Alright, what's up guys? So, Destiny 2 has uploaded a trailer called Destiny 2 Into the Light. Curious to see what this is going to be about. And, uh, yeah, just overall, if there's a reason to get back into this game. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Destiny 2, I, I just... The stuff that they've done with the game, I, I'm not a fan of it. Like, the Battle Pass, making it free, but still, you gotta pay for all these, like, you know, the missions and stuff. Like, my thing is this. The cosmetics, I don't mind that having it to where you gotta pay for that. But it's like... If you want people to enjoy your game, my thing is this. make If you're going to make the game free, have it where it's like, okay, you could get through the campaign, but if you want to get like this dope look at armor or this dope weapon it's like yeah have it where you gotta pay for that stuff but at least the campaign have it where it's like yeah that's just like an update where it's you know it's introduced for free but then like the cosmetic stuff because i'm like my thing is this that's why i more so be playing video games i'm like i got good weapons on my destiny account and then, yeah, then there's probably some that I haven't even unlocked yet where they're good, too. But I'm like, yeah, bro, I, I would rather just get through the story and see, you know, where it leads into. Because Destiny, I have to say, from 1 and uh, when 2, when it originally came out, there was, yeah, that was some of the best storytelling that I've seen in video games. So, yeah, I was like, I just don't get why they went in the route where it's like, you got to pay for all these different things. I'm like, bro, the battle pass is enough. Have it where people pay for that. But the campaign itself, come on now. It's like you want people to enjoy your game. It's like you got to introduce something in that game to where it's like, okay, it's worth investing into. But I'm saying there's just some stuff in Destiny that's not worth investing into where it's like going to be a regular investment. And I'm like, nah, bro, I'm trying to invest in this game one time and that's it. It's crazy to me. Like, I bought this game. Like, I no, I had bought like a deluxe uh, edition of this game just for them to take all that stuff out and then replace it. So, yeah, I'm still a little salty about it, but I can recognize when Destiny is like, you know, it was a solid game at one point in time. So, but now I just, I don't know. Let's see what this trailer is going to be about. Guys, if you haven't, make sure you go subscribe to the Destiny 2 tra or Destiny 2 channel. Let's go ahead and check out this video. As the final shape approaches, and the forces oh, so this is like an update before the, 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 city. the DLC. Lord okay. Shax has been authorized by the Vanguard to place an arsenal of banned weapons from his personal collection back into circulation. Powerful gear for a powerful guardian. Good luck. Like banned weapons? Like, what do you mean banned weapons? We're going up against all these different types of aliens. They shouldn't be banned. They should be the front, um, we once the radical. main weapons used down the line. We now see his desperate measures. I know you'll use this well. Fight well. Pushing back buys us only time, but the alternative is unthinkable. I feel I like I remember that weapon. What you do with that. I, I did use the assault rifles a lot. I feel like I remember that. That's an assault rifle. I might use nice. that yeah, unless it's new. It's time, Guardian. Crush them. Let them come. Show me what you've got. So if the enemies of humanity want war, let's give them war. Middle of all players. Getting creative. I oh, love so today. To see it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I might. I'm, I don't know. I might download that game at some point and uh, just see where it's currently at and things. Because, yeah, it's like Destiny. It's it's a good game. It, it's just with the money that is like that they're asking for for the game. I'm like, bro. And you would think like, okay, throughout the pandemic, like, yeah, that that when we will be offering out content for free, it's like we know like people most likely done lost jobs or trying to save money and stuff. I think everybody's especially because, yeah, maybe if I'm a kid, 
I wouldn't care, you know, but as an adult, I'm like, bro, I'm trying to save my money. So I'm like, I imagine some of the devs at uh, Bungie will understand that it's like people are trying to save their money. So I'm saying it's like if you guys, my thing is this, if you guys are putting out a brand new game, then have it where you're uh, charging for that. Hopefully if they do decide to come out with a Destiny 3 it ain't like some like Overwatch 2 stuff where it's like, oh, we're just going to switch. No, come out with a completely different game, new story, all that stuff. Like, no, I got to go out to a store and buy this game, but not some stuff where it's like, oh, you're already going to. If that's the case where it's like, if you are going to do that, that game needs to be the most freest destiny of all time. So anyways, uh, but yeah, with that being said, make sure if you guys haven't, go subscribe to the Destiny 2 channel for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.